Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about a term which has been news from past few days that is called as man pads and the kamikaze drone. Both these terms has been continuously in news because this is related to the Russia Ukraine war that is going on right now. So in this particular video we are going to discuss about what are the man pads and kamikaze man pads and kamikaze drone and how are they being used in this particular war and what is their significance in terms of the modern warfare. So let us begin and delve deeper into this particular topic. So first of all, the reason why it is a news, if you give a brief introduction, is because the West, that means US and the European Union countries, they have continuously supported the Ukraine in this war and they have been supplying with the uh, different different kinds of military weapons uh, in all forms, whether it is anti-aircraft gun or anti-tank defense system to the Ukraine continuously. And it is in this context, among other weapons and drones, the United States President Joe Biden has recently unveiled a plan of transferring somewhere about 800 million worth of weapon system to Ukraine, which will include around 800 Stingers, which is a type of man pads. Man pads actually is a short form for man portable air defense system. And also they are planning to give 2000 Javelin, that is anti-tank system, and also about 100 tactical drone that is also called as Kamikaze drones. So it is in this context we have to understand about both these kind of equipments. So let us first try to understand what is the man pads, man portable air defense system. So it is a kind of a fire and forget kind of missile system. That is, we can say, it is a fire and forget kind of missile system. That means once you fire this missile, you'll have to, you do not have to worry about its trajectory. You do not have to worry about how it is going to uh, hit any target. You just lock the target and fire it and then automatically it will hit the target. Second is, it is a short range surface to air kind of missile. We have different different types of missile, air to air missile, surface to air missile, surface to surface missile. So these man pads are example of surface to air missile. However, they have very short range that is less than 100 kilometers. And they are generally used to intercept both kind of aircraft. Either it is a fixed wing aircraft or it is a rotary wing aircraft. Now question comes that how do these man pads seek their targets? So they are fitted with actually an infrared seeker. Infrared actually is a kind of, uh, we can say, um, seeking device where it measures the heat that is being radiated out from any body. And you know that any moving object, whether it is a, any kind of uh, fighter jet is there or fighter aircraft is there or helicopters are there. When they move, they emit heat signature. And this heat signature is something that is sought by this infrared seeker of this man pad and then through the radiation emission of these uh, aircrafts they are targeted and they hit and strike it that is how it actually works so if we try to understand that what are the importance of man pads in the context of present warfare so from very beginning man pads has been at the forefront of ukrainian defense because as we know that russia invaded ukraine and when any army that is offensive army that is engaging or that is coming toward the uh, coming toward any uh, other land, uh, any other country, then they have to encounter a large number of land forces and that is a very difficult warfare. So only age which Russia has is to uh, have this air superiority and that is why they are striking with a lot of missiles, aircraft and all these things. And the presence of such man cats have actually blunted the age of Russian air strikes and have made it much more less, much less effective as compared to the traditional times. And as per if we try to understand the damage that has been caused by these man pads on the aircrafts of Russian system, Air Russia. So as per the BBC report, we can see they believe that about 20 Russian aircrafts have been downed by this man pad system. While if we believe the Ukrainian Defense Department, they say that around 86 such kind of helicopters and the aircrafts have been downed by the man pad systems. So anyway, even if you look at any of these two numbers, we can understand the damage by these man pads to the air uh, force of Russia has been very, very severe and that has made the whole uh, war and whole invasion, uh, it has gone awry in the plan. Now if we try to understand a slight brief history that how man pads had developed. So as per the Australian Defense Department, it is believed that somewhere in the 1968, we had the first evidence of a man pad that was developed by US being commissioned into the army or commissioned into the military forces and that was called as Red Eye. However, it was just the first prototype model and was not so much uh, successful and that is why they developed the next generation uh, man pad that were called as the Stingers and the Stingers were the one which have actually revolutionized the whole uh, modern warfare which was significantly has been used in many places across the world. 
the first documented use of manpads especially stringers however occurs somewhere between 1970 to 1980 when we have soviet invasion of afghanistan and to tackle with the soviet invasion the united states used to supply a lot of arms to the mujahideen in the afghanistan and these mujahideens were the one that were supplied with large number of stringers and that is why they were able to down a lot of soviet planes however in response to this the soviet union also have developed a uh, kind of anti aircraft system or manpads kind of system and they named it as strela and igla now if you look at between somewhere between 2004 to up till now the one report released by the rand research corporation they have said that about 4000 manpads are unaccounted for have been into missing especially from the iraqi base when us fought a war in iraq us waged a war on iraq and it is believed that these 47 manpads has been transferred especially by uh, smugglers and especially by we can say terrorist organization to 57 non state armed groups all across the world the most notable one of them which continues which currently have illegal possession of stingers are the groups that are generally supported by iran that is hezbollah then we have in hamas in palestine we have palestinian islamic jihad also and the houthi rebels that are currently waging a war in the yemen regions so these are the major terrorist group or major non state armed groups that are in possession of uh, this manpad system especially the stinger missiles now coming to the second type of military uh, equipment that we have to discuss about is kamikaze drone so kamikaze is actually a japanese word which came into uh, uh, we can say new uh, when uh, in the during second world war when what they used to do in japanese ships or when japanese sailors when they used to man these submarines sometime what happens they cannot or they cannot uh, target the enemy vessels so that is why they used to sit inside these uh, torpedoes and then they go and directly collide they by uh, adjusting the course of torpedo they go and directly collide with the enemy uh, ships so that is a kind of suicide mission so that is from where the name kamikaze came so that is a kamikaze is kind of a suicide drone which is a kind of unmanned aircraft and is part of the tranche of weapons that us president joe biden has promised to deliver to the ukraine to fight against the russian invasions now kamikaze drones are also generally called as switch blade drones the reason why it is called as switch blade drones because when they are in the flight when they are uh, ejected out from the, uh, the their artillery they ejected out from their uh, shell or cover they change the the blades actually opened up earlier the blades are kind of switched off and when they start to fly the blades switch off that was called as switch blade drones they are generally packed with explosive and here drones does not fire any kind of missile or any kind of bomb drone directly with a packed explosive has to go and strike with the target that is why it is called as suicide drones it can actually strike a tank or it can even strike a group of troops now obviously since it is a suicide kind of drone that means after the attack the drone will also be destroyed so it is a kind of single use weapons and it is much more cheaper than the conventional us drones a general us drone like for example raptor they cost around 150000 dollars while kamikaze drone just cost 6000 dollars so if we try to understand about the specification of this particular drone as we can see from this image it is very very lightweight drones that is only weighing 5 pounds that is 2.5 kg and can fly up to 15 minutes in a single time duration as we discussed the cost is very very less it is only 6000 dollars and it has been developed by the us organization that is called as aero environment incorporation not only this the drone is also capable of facial recognition that means it has a camera and through camera it can see that whether a target it is trying to uh, impact or trying to kill is the same target or not and because since if a facial recognition system says that it is not the target which they are aiming for then the drone can even be waved off that means the attack can be averted just even up to 2 seconds before impact and that is very very important especially if the civilians casualty has to be avoided and that is why these drones become very popular when us was in the war in both afghanistan and iraq where they trying to avoid the civilian casualty and were just targeting the terrorist organizations or terrorist members or we can say uh, this uh, terror organization members so in that case the waving of the attack comes into very very handy and that is what it is believe will be helpful in ukraine also against its war so the question comes does us is uh, only country which possesses such drones so that is not true we have other countries also for example russia itself apart from russia we have china then we have iran we have turkey and we have israel 
these are the five major countries that also in possession of similar kind of switch plate or switch plate or kamikaze drones now obviously the question comes that though the 800 million dollars of military aid has been uh, promised by the united states here are these weapons enough for the ukrainian defense so the answer lies in the statement given by the president of ukraine vladimir zelensky where he has said that these weapons are helpful to ukrainians to some extent but the damage caused due to continuous selling and continuously firing and missile of the russia is very very destructive and that is why he has asked for a implication uh, application of a new fly zone over the ukrainian sky however this has been categor categorically uh, we can say rejected by both united states and european union and that is why zelensky has also asked that if they cannot imply a no fly zone or apply no fly zone over, over ukraine they can at least try to supply ukraine with soviet made mig 29 and sukhoi jet fighters in that way the aircraft or the air superiority of the russia can be thwarted to some extent however us has in both these cases us and european union allies has clearly rejected this because it will imply or it will actually mean a direct confrontation with russia which both organization uh, both uh, countries want to avoid to avoid the third world war however united states is currently mulling over uh, sending a longer range s300 surface to air missile defense system that can shoot down aircraft that will be akin to a kind of no fly zone as if we believe the experts so that is something that is on the plan and maybe in the near future we can expect the shipment of s300 surface to air missile system to uk so that is all about this particular topic i hope you understand about this two terms man pads and kamikaze drone and what is the situation in ground that is going on in ukraine that is all for this particular video we'll come again soon with another interesting current affairs topic till then take care thank you very much